What has you two meant to me? What has the band you two meant to me? Well, they've meant a hell of a lot. <clears throat> it probably Adam Clayton, Larry Mullen Jr., uh, Bono and the Edge, uh, Paul Houston, I think, is Bono's real name, and uh, David Evans is the Edges. They've influenced me more than any other group, and by far the most. I think they are deeply spiritual, and that's what really resonates with me. And uh, one of the highlights of my life is when I went to see them when I was 15, 1987, at Pontiac Silverdome. There was about 80,000 people there. And I remember people were smoking weed and everything, and they didn't really know the band. But once where the Streets Have No Name started playing, where this old guy, did, old guy just smoking weed, just started getting up and praising Jesus. I mean, I, I've never had such a... I've had a few experience experiences like that, and uh, I'd but now they're older, and I've seen a, a recent um, 360 tour video, and they really don't have the passion anymore, so I wouldn't want to waste 150 bucks on them anymore. So I'm glad I saw them at, <clears throat> at their heyday, at their pinnacle, their apex, you know. And uh, they still, they're still very relevant. I really like their new album, New Line on the Horizon. And they mix it over. It's when they they have Daniel Lenoir, Steve Lillywhite, and Brian Eno. Their three favorite producers, all producing on this one. And so they mix it up really well. And so I hope they continue on like this. I hope they continue to be relevant. I hope Bono can still sing. It's, his voice is getting weaker. So, you know, I don't know who could take their place, you know. I don't think anyone could. I think they, especially Bono, he's added so much politically as well that I really don't think there's uh, anyone out there who could take his place. So, anyways, I hope they continue on for many years to come because I just love them.